Hello and welcome to Back to School Night, the 2020-21 school year with Mr. Rasmussen. As you can see, um, this school year is going to be a little bit different, so um, we've got to be patient this year. That's what I'm realizing. got to be patient with the teacher, the parents, the students, every, everything. Everything's changing, but I'm excited to have you guys here tonight. Uh, we're actually going to start off with a message from the principal and vice principal. Good evening. This is Mrs. Ruger, and I'm here with Mrs. Salcedo, who will be interpreting in Spanish. I would like to welcome all our wonderful families to Back to School Night. Bienvenidos a todas nuestras maravillosas familias de Leitrop a la noche de regreso a clases. We would like to thank you for coming. Tonight you will hear from your teachers about the wonderful instructional programs they have planned for your children. But before that, I would like to remind you of a couple things. Pictures are coming on September 9th through the 11th by appointment only. Please go to Sign Up Genius to make an appointment. If you need help, please ask your teacher or call the office. Parent conferences will be September 14th through the 18th. You will be able to sign up for your conference starting September 8th. And lastly, please be sure your children are reporting to all of their classes every day on time. Attendance is mandatory and it does affect grades. Students need to be on time, paying attention, and with their device completely charged. It is very helpful if students have a quiet place at home to have class free from distractions. And now I will release you to your teachers who are anxious to tell you all about their class and how to ensure your family is successful. Enjoy your evening. Nos gustaría dar las gracias por venir. Esta noche escuchará a sus maestros hablar de los maravillosos programas de instrucción que han planeado para sus hijos. Pero antes de eso, me gustaría recordarles lo siguiente. Las fotos llegarán del 9 al 11 de septiembre con solo cita previa. Vaya a Sign Up Genius para apuntarse para una cita. Si necesita ayuda, pregunte a su maestro o llame a la oficina. Las conferencias de padres serán del 14 al 18 de septiembre. Podrá escribirse para su conferencia el 8 de septiembre. Y por último, asegúrese de sus hijos e hijas se presenten a todas sus clases todos los días. La asistencia es obligatoria y afecta a las calificaciones. Los estudiantes deben llegar a tiempo, presentar atención y tener sus tabletas completamente cargadas. Es muy importante que los estudiantes tengan un lugar tranquilo para tener las clases libres de distracciones. Y ahora los dejaré con sus maestros que están ansiosos por contarles todo sobre su clase y cómo asegurarse que su familia tenga éxito. Éxito. Disfruten su tarde. So this first slide is going to be from Mr. Molador. Classroom music will be um, for our class is going to be every Friday. Beginning band is going to be on hold. That's available for fifth and sixth graders. Intermediate band, that's for students that were in the band last year. Um, is for sixth grade with previous experience. And we're, we're going to skip down to choir. Uh, fifth through eighth grade has already begun choir. So if you guys have any questions on anything music related, contact Mr. Molador at mmolador at musd.net. Another assigned in Teams so to be submitted on Microsoft Teams. Late work will be accepted only 48, 48 hours after the due date for half credit. A student is to send me an email at jmrasmussen at musd.net to let me know that the assignment is turned in on Teams and ready to be graded. Also, the MAPS assessments will be completed with cameras on. Submit assignments. All the writing, math, reading, and social studies assignments will be located in Microsoft Teams. Spelling City and Amplify. Those are their own separate programs, so any spelling will be turned into Spelling City, and any science will be turned into Amplify. Here's a little tour of our this year's OneNote. I do use OneNote a lot in this class, so some things you want to take notice is on the top. We have the calendar, announcements, standards, math, warm-ups, reading, and writing. So the calendar, I do have the, I do post the calendar. Try to do it daily. Um, for everything that we do in the class. Now, do notice that I did have eight, I did give the students eight days straight uh, of time to do their missing work. 
Um, so that was August. Now we're back into September. Uh, the announcements, this is something that I, if I give you guys a paper from me, I always post it in the announcement tab. So here's the syllabus, schedule, I got the district calendar. I have some uh, resources, multiplication, divisions, and factor chart. We do a lot of anchor charts for the um, reading. I taught the students how to check the student connection, uh, some information about picture day, and the late work policy. And I add to this as the year goes along. For the math, I do have the math book here, as long as with their math homework. So their entire math book with the notes are, is available to them. And along with all the homework and any notes that I write down, the students get to use for the homework, just to provide a little bit extra support. Uh, but the most of the homework will be for math on OneNote. I do do the mid-chapter check the Are You Ready page, and the performance task, I do do that from the book. But for the most part, everything else is going to be available in their OneNote. Nice thing about OneNote is you can actually use it offline, so you do not need to be connect, connected to the internet to have access. Um, for reading, I have the um, PDF version of the book that we're reading. I also included an MP3 file. Um, what this MP3 file does is once you hit play, you can follow along with the story as long along with the book. The same with the Reader's Writer's Workshop. That's the book, the textbook, the students have. So we have, uh, so this week we did The Secret World of, of Caves. We have the the book in here, and they can, or they can use the textbook along with my notes. And I also give them, um, this is the uh, uh, assignment that they find in Teams. And I usually take notes with them, and I and I print it to this OneNote page. That way, they have access to any notes to help them, um, just in case if I'm not available to help. Uh, lastly, the writing. So I have a lot of writing resources and how to become a better writer. So a lot of the students have the resources. We just got to make sure that um, that we're using them. And I always give them a reminder. The warm ups is something that we actually haven't started yet. That'll be in the near future. The textbooks we use for reading, we use the Reader's Writer's Workshop. We have the math book and the social studies book is on the bottom. Uh, Amplify is done 100% online. And that's through an app that the students can find either through Clever or in Office 365. It's very important that we attend school on time. And we have to know participation is also part of attendance. So this concludes in the completion of assignments. Phone calls will be made if the student does not attend. And if you're having device issues and you cannot attend because of your device, as soon as you can, let the teacher know by either sending an email or you can call the office. We currently do not have a date on when we'll be returning to campus for phase two. Just know that when, when a time does come, the school will be taking a lot of precautions uh, the students will be wearing masks, uh, maintain the six minimum of six feet apart when possible, and students will be washing their hands when entering the classroom. There's going to be a lot more procedures as the time gets closer, and I'll be able to share more as we, as we get closer to that time. With devices, they're expected to be charged and ready every morning. Check for updates and settings. There's a good chance that every single device is going to have updates. Devices get pushed out every Tuesday, so even when you're done with back to school night, have your student show you where to check for updates and make sure they check online for updates from Microsoft Update, because this is where more of the updates are going to be available for you for your student. If there's any issues with devices at any time of the school year, Please let, I need to be the first form of contact, so um, have your student contact me if you want to send me an email letting me know what's wrong with the device, that way I can troubleshoot the best I can before we have to turn it into the school. Here are the links to Parent Connect, and I'll attach this PowerPoint, uh, and I'll give it to the students, that way it's available for you to click. It's very important to uh, sign up for Parent Connection because you can check your students' grades and their missing assignments. I know I've been emailing a lot of parents with their progress reports if, if their grades are 
concerning, but that's not something I'm going to be able to do the entire school year. And the teachers actually only need only need to um, they're only required to send one progress report per trimester. So it's going to be very important that you check your students' grade and they're missing assignments very often on Parent Connection. The students also have student connections so that you can um, the students can show you their grades from there as well. Office hours are available for the students every day except for Wednesdays and minimum days. And this is from 1.30 to 2.15. This is the time when if the, the student needs support or if the parents want to ask any questions, this is the best time to contact me because I'll always be available during this time, at least during phase one of distance learning. So for classroom procedures for phase one, students are expected to have their cameras on. It is much easier from a teacher's end to be able to read the students and help the students when we're uh, during instruction. I know a lot of students don't like having the cameras on, but trust me, it makes um, it'll, we can provide more support when we know what the students are thinking, because a lot of students are too shy to let us know if they need help. Um, but the other thing is just make sure your student uh, can have a spot in the household where it's going to be successful for them to be ready to learn. Classroom rules and consequences. Make sure you arrive to class on time and also arrive to elective every day. Elective is from 12.50 to 1.30. And if these are not met, you'll be getting a phone call from the teacher. And if it still be, is an issue, then the vice principal will be involved. There is a school website, school's Facebook page, and Peach Jar. And these are excellent resources for any updates on Lathrop Elementary School. This is the last slide before we go live for questions. So every Friday is Warrior Pride. That means uh, students, you wear your black and gold or any Lathrop gear that you own.